So, if there's one thing I can applaud 343 on over the last couple of years, with the development and release of Halo 5, it's that they've kept their community together. What do I mean by this? I mean there is no difference between somebody who has spent zero money on the base game and somebody who has poured half their earnings into it. Everyone, regardless of how much they play or how much they pay, gets access to the same content. Everyone can play Warzone Firefight, everyone can play Standard Warzone, everyone can play Arena, everyone can play Campaign. The game is open to everybody. And this model is the best for everyone. Now, how the funding went about, I'm not a fan of, as I've said before. But this model, in terms of everyone being able to play everything, is the best for the community and anyone else who wants to play the game. Now, when I say anyone else, I mean the people that own the game and have played it like once and decided that it wasn't for them and didn't really want to play it. But the people who do play it a lot, like myself, it's probably my most played game at the moment, albeit I have a lot of gripes with it. The reason I play it so much is the fact that I have access to all the content. I was tempted to pick up Black Ops 3 for the Xbox One and then realised, oh shit, if I want to play half the multiplayer, I've got to go out and buy these DLCs, which I'm not doing, because if I'm spending still very close to straight-up retail value, then I don't want to have to go out and spend that same value again on DLC. Now, some games have done this really well. I'm going to quote Titanfall here because, as far as I'm aware, the DLC for that game is now free. I mean, you had to pay for it in the beginning, which is a shame, but that's understandable in order to offset development costs. If it's content produced after the game has gone gold, then it makes sense that those developers need to be paid. And I'm glad that the DLC has gone free because I've owned Titanfall for ages and not wanted to play it because the DLC cost money. And if I wanted to play the multiplayer, I needed to get the DLC. And now the DLC is free, I'm thinking of getting back into the game. So it's things like this that really restore some of my faith in games developers. I can understand that they had to charge to pay development costs, but it's great to see that they're now trying to bring the community together, especially with the announcement of Titanfall 2. Now, I don't think this is going to happen, but it was stated in an article that that the developers of Titanfall 2 were planning on taking an Evolve Stage 2 route, in which the game itself is free to play and all the content that could lock out other players is free, but that they would charge money for cosmetic items, nothing affecting gameplay. And it's a really good way of doing it, provided your game stands up. If the game can't stand up on its own, then customization options as a revenue generation system are not going to work. Look at League of Legends. The game would stand up even without skins, because the mechanics are there, the gameplay is there, and people wanting to play it are there. But if there aren't people there wanting to play your game, then no matter how many customization options you have, people are still not going to play the game. People don't play games to look fancy. They play games because they enjoy the game. And that's something I think 343 need to nail, especially with Halo 6. They need to make a game that appeals to everyone. Bring the Halo community together so we don't have old fans and new fans and fans of Halo Wars as well. Halo Wars is its own beast now, but it's still part of the Halo franchise. We need 343 to make a game that panders to everyone. Thank you very much for watching, my name's been Classy Ham, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like or a comment, and remember, stay classy.